The preparation in which you all are engaged now is absolutely, unequivocally, uncategorically uh, important for the destiny of this country. It's important for this country. Now, uh, you know, as, again, as Richard was saying, that, you know, you'd, you'd look at the, 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 the television and you, uh, you, uh, you go online and you look in your newspapers. And when uh, the conversation is about the economy, uh, a lot of the people that they talk about uh, are folks who are in uh, the, the, their lawyers, their bankers. Uh, and we need lawyers. And we need bankers. As a matter of fact, that's what I'm going to do when I leave here is meet a banker. As important as those pieces are to an economy, there is no economy without you. There is no economy without you. Um, in the United States, we do, we do football, we do football, American football. Your football we call soccer. But we do American football, and I think the closest equivalent to that here is rugby. And uh, the Springboks pulled it out, the World Cup, what, two months ago, three months ago? Uh, uh, so so I, I, I pay attention. I pay attention. Uh, but I liken what you do uh, to th th those elements on American football teams and on rugby teams. You all are the guys... Well, let me back up. Everybody cheers the, 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 the guy that gets across the goal line and touches down with the football. That's when the bells and the whistles go off. But you don't get to the end zone unless somebody is effectively doing some blocking and tackling. Am I right? You are the guys that are doing the blocking and the tackling. You provide the infrastructure for uh, 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 sophisticated economies uh, to work. And if you are not training to do what you do, and if you are not doing what you are trained to do, you cannot have a sophisticated 21st century economy. So what you do is absolutely critical to the destiny of this country. South Africa's future is inextricably bound uh, to how your destiny unfolds. In other words, there is a lot riding on you relative to the growth and development of South Africa. Now, the second point I want to make is this. What you're doing is essential. It's not glamorous. And so it's easy to underappreciate your contribution. And when you underappreciate your contribution, sometimes you don't put everything into it that you need to. So what I want to encourage you today is to be the absolute best at what you do. Everybody in this room has heard of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., right? And most often when folks reference Martin King, uh, they reference his I Had a Dream speech, which he gave uh, at the foot of the Lincoln Memorial during the Great March on Washington. As important and as powerful as that speech was, one of his uh, the speeches that I've always had a, well, not a greater affection, but close to an equal affection for, is a speech of his entitled The Drum Major Instinct. And the principal point of that speech, The Drum Major Instinct, is that all of us have within us the capacity to lead. All of us want to lead. All of us want to be in some way, shape, form, or fashion out front. 
we want the attention. We want the expression of appreciation for what we do, which is why this award ceremony is important. It recognizes people. It helps to soothe those urgings that emerge out of that drum major instinct which resides deep inside of all of us. The critical point he makes beyond that psychological need we have for recognition is that to truly be a drum major, to be out front means that you commit yourself to excellence, that you commit yourself to greatness. And he closes his speech by making this point, that everybody can be great. And everybody ought to commit themselves to the enterprise of greatness. He says, I don't care if you're sweeping streets. You should sweep streets like Stradivarius plays the violin. Be great. And the task to which I saw you, yourselves committing uh, yourselves this afternoon from, from uh, pipe fitting to, uh, uh, to, to the, the, the wiring uh, electrical boards, uh, all of the stuff that really intimidates folks like me, we need you to commit to greatness. Because if you do, there is no limit to what you can achieve and there is no limit to what South Africa can become. Now, often when I'm in a context like this, I ask folks to join me in a chant. Uh, and uh, uh, even you all were, were a little weak earlier on the call and response. I'm going to trust you to, to join me in this and, and put something, put your foot in it. I want you to put a little something in it. So I'm going to ask everybody to stand real quick, please. Now remember, I said you all are integral, absolutely integral to this country becoming what it would. And if you don't aspire to greatness, there is no way the country can be great. So now let's do it. If I believe, if I believe, if I, believe I can achieve greatness, 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 greatness is my destiny. A new world, a new world must be my dream. God bless you all.